Good day, everybody. This is a new purchase that we just picked up uh, this past week. It's a 99 LX470. Uh, bought it from a lady who they didn't have kids or um, drove it really mostly around town. I looked underneath, there was not a speck of rust on the frame. Um, <clears throat> you know, inside was virtually clean. Uh, told me that there was no accidents. Um, I'm not sure if that's true from the standpoint that I did find on the front bumper some overspray on the trim pieces as well as some paint drip. So I'm not sure if there was an accident or if they just had a little bump that they might have hit something and then had it repainted. But um, one thing I've been working on since purchase, purchasing this is just trying to understand all the bells and whistles. I have a 2014 Forerunner Trail Edition. So um, now it's kind of, you know, understanding the older cars. And obviously this is a very capable vehicle, um, but it doesn't have all of the technological advances that you're seeing in the new Forerunners and Land Cruisers as far as A-Track and crawl control and a few other uh, few other little things for off-roading. Um, everything is basically stock on this vehicle from what I found. All service was done at Lexus. AHC seems to be in good operating order. Um, I don't think it's ever been off-road. Um, I'm finding in all these little creeks and crevices an abundance of dog hair. Um, you know, so now it's just been a detailing process for me, working on getting that done. Um, show you quickly underneath. Uh, you see, there's not really a speck of rust as far as the frame goes. Here's the frame, at least the rear driver's side. So, it took me a while to find this car. I knew what we wanted. I knew what we were looking for. Um, and so now it's it's kind of you know starting the modifications and and uh and getting it to kind of where my forerunner is at now with all the aftermarket stuff that i've done um very clean car the sunroof doesn't show any signs of leaks which is nice i'm gonna try and make videos um periodically as what i've learned or what i'm working on Today I'm going to work on putting the third row in. That's something my wife wants. We have two little ones. So um, right now I'm going to pop off these these covers because as you can kind of see in there, a lot of dirt, dog hair, etc. This one has some rust built up, so I'll take that cover off, clean up the rust as best I can, hit it with a, a uh, rust treatment. Okay, so today's project we're going to uh, look at installing the third row seats. Uh, these were not in the vehicle when we purchased it. I've um, been going through and kind of cleaning up the back area. I mentioned before the prior owner had dogs and dog hair everywhere. Um, these are the, the brackets that the third row uh, mounts into. Um, initially I was just going to try and take a wire brush to these and and clean them up and let them be as they are inside um, but I did I pulled back the carpet here and I can see that there's just these two bolts holding it in so I'm going to clean up all this nasty gunk and whatever the heck that is on the plastic panels I'm gonna take these pieces out I'm gonna hit them with a, a wire wheel as best as I can and then I'm gonna put some rust killer on top of that um, so uh, that's the plan for today, and um, and we'll go from there. All right, so I have um, taken a wire brush, wire wheel, tried to get as much of the rust off that I could from both of these brackets, uh, and then coated it with some um, rust inhibitor that I have. 
Um, so not the prettiest, but these are covered by um, little cover plates. So I wasn't too concerned with the finish just because it won't be seen. Um, but both both sides are done, so stop the rust and a lot better than where we were. Right, so next we're gonna uh, work on getting the uh, third row installed. I have uh, not read any instructions on how to do this, so this is gonna kind of be a learn as I go type thing, and hopefully um, won't be too bad. We'll report back. Okay, so uh, all the cover pieces are back on. Um, the brackets are mounted back in on both sides. Just an FYI, these um, these little torque screws are T20 uh, for all six that you'll need to take out if you're if you're removing those and kind of doing a little cleanup or or whatever the case may be. So, all right, let's see if we can get this seat in. Okay, uh, got the passenger side seat in. Took about two seconds. So, uh, very simple. Basically, the um, front hooks in around that bar and then you drop the back half into the this open hole and then coming back over here just to show you you have a, a, a lever that you um, open up and it'll drop in and then you just close that and the, the seat folds um, determine that this lever allows the seat to slide forward and backwards which then will allow it to drop in need to replace the I think the subwoofer is blown um, so I need to replace the cover and obviously the sub looking to add some more of these outlets more or less maybe USB doesn't see any in the rear seat so I'm not sure how the the rear seat passengers have access to any of that kind of stuff so I'll probably put some right in here because it's just a blank cover I'll uh, get some weather text for the front and back um, and go from there um, I'll show you that front drip overspray that I saw Wife keeps saying she wants new shoes for her, for the car, so uh, I can kind of see here. I'm mad at myself that I didn't catch this when we were um, purchasing the car, but um, you can, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but you can see just the run in the paint. So whoever did this paint on this front bumper did a crappy job, you can see more. Uh, right here that's all paint run but um, aside from from that front bumper I couldn't find any issues doors closed solid um, I've ordered new struts for the hood those should be coming in today because these are done after 20 years they no longer hold up the hood, but that's no big deal. I can make a little video on how to replace those if that helps somebody. I was able to pull up all the service records on Lexus um, and see that you know the infamous T-hose failure happened uh, while this lady was driving. So those have been replaced at the dealership. I'll probably replace them again myself just for peace of mind. I don't want to get stranded anywhere. Um, and uh, a few other just, you know, maintenance items that I want to get taken care of. Um, but overall, you know, I don't see any, looking down at the frame, I don't see any bends in the frame where, you know, was in an accident. Or at the front, at least, where the frame might have been, you know, impacted or pushed back. So, uh, could have just been a... A, uh, a small little impact in a grocery store or something. Who knows? Um, 
but yeah we got our work cut out for us it'll be a fun journey i plan to document a lot of the stuff i wish i had documented the stuff on the forerunner um i think that's all for now feel free to leave any comments or suggestions on you know tips and tricks uh with these platforms as i'm you know learning i know i hate mud has looks like that's the primary form for these so until next time thanks for